Hello everyone, this is Perry and Keb here, coming to you with our first attempt at trying to get an EU4 videos, podcasts, let's play all put together. Uh, we generally play with random nation selection at the beginning, so God help us, we have no idea what we're going to do. Uh, but if if we keep at this and you follow us through, by the end you'll find out that we actually never had any idea what we were doing. So there's a certain balance there. Um so I'm Perry, my silence partner Kev is Yep, hello. Is here too. Broadcasting from sunny noontime Oslo. Uh, <laughs> wait, I'm sorry, no, it's probably What time is it there? Yeah, approaching midnight. As usual. Approaching is that like regular time or metric time? Oh dear, don't, don't get me started. Okay. Do you want it to go is. do you want to go first this time with another? Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Age before beauty. Okay. Just so, you know, we just do five of them, five clicks, and we have to pick one of them. So here goes. First time. First pick is Cochin. Okay. Oh, an Irish miner. Are there other kinds of Irish? Provence? A French, French target? Quite possibly. Oh! Hey! <laughs> this, yeah. is where our, this is where our luck differs. Yeah, and the last one is... Yeah. Okay. That's so you go, you're, you're going you're going for coaching, right? <laughs> I don't think so. But uh, well, it depends on what you get. Well, that's Well that's unusual. It's a pretty powerful yeah, nation for your Yeah, nor normally if it's got more than three provinces it never shows up. <laughs> Hey, oh, Horn of Africa. Uh, yeah, I found a nation. I found where all the vowels went. Uh, you also got the Arkhan. Okay, then you have to do one more. Yeah, I'll have to do one more for that one. So. Yeah, so that's your fourth. Hey, look. It's ISIS in the 14th century. Apparently, <laughs> I am not allowed to go near here <laughs> in this game. Right? So. Well, I'll take me. Oh, I'm, I'm wondering. I wonder if I can actually survive as Provence, but. <laughs> oh, you're a funny man. Well, in that case, you know what I'm gonna go with. Yeah. Okay. We'll probably still fumble this, so. <laughs> oh, I haven't played Ming in forever. I haven't seen the rules changes, and this is my first. Uh, my first EU4 game in a couple of expansions, I think, so this is... What I know from the AI, the AI Ming tends to just dissolve it to Rebels again, so... Oh, well, now you tell me. Well, that's because they differentiated the cultures quite severely. So in other words, I should hate you. Why? Because you didn't say, no, no, don't play Ming. You'll be happier with other things. You sat oh. back quietly chuckling as I went to my room. <laughs> Let's see how bad. Let's see. It's not bad. I've got a decent amount of gold. Plenty, plenty of manpower left to last like one siege. Any other factions? I'm just happy that this time the, sil the silly icon showed up on the menu. Well, they, they have time to disappear still. Oh, uh, you are <laughs> such a killjoy. <laughs> oh, there's the faction thing. My dominant faction are, is the Temple Faction. Representing various Taoist orders, the Taoists are especially interested in persecuting Buddhists. Since Buddhists are not a renewable resource, the Temple Faction facilitates war to acquire more Buddhists. <laughs> yeah.
So the temples of the war faction. Well, this is new. The Ottomans can actually form Arabia. Oh, it's you know the Abyssid Abyssidian Caliphate Empire from CK2, basically. I also have the cultural shift decision, I think. <laughs> I won't do that one. Become Byzantium. Become Byzantium. Become Byzantium. Oh, dear Lord, no. Retrograde factions. Uh, let's see. Relations. Improve relations. Confirm. Oh, does Die Viet still have that silly national modifier? Oh, I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. So I was allowed to take a arrival of Japan. This is the low point of the shogunate, where there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen independent daimyos. Naturally, a one-for-one -one rival with Ming. I wouldn't be too worried. Japan tends to implode into civil wars. Yes, that, that is so different than Ming, which tends to implode into civil wars. <laughs> uh, let's see. You'll do. I should have probably also mention there is one bug. I'm not sure if it's been fixed yet. Um, what it actually does, it. Um, <laughs> It makes uh, the AI yeah. overvalue military technology. Something. I think your I, I think your your little giggle laugh there is, is scarier than, than anything you could have told me. Yeah, basically, what I as what I understand of the bug is that the AI values military tech level four or one tech level up a hundred times greater than it should. So basically, any AI that reaches tech four a tech level before the others will think it can defeat the entire world alone. Just in case you're wondering if why why a tiny little nation suddenly declares war on you. Oops. If only they had a, an AI programmer who was able to uh, find mistakes like that and talk about them, and fix them. And well, they do at least the first two. I, I don't know if they fixed it yet. I I, I did. The, there were some hot fixes that they didn't mention what actually in, entailed. So it could possibly be that. Oh, that's right, in the, the new province fortification system, most provinces don't have forts. And the actual real forts cost a fortune to maintain. Let's see now, what am I forgetting? It's been <laughs> I'll be fumbling about for a while because I can't remember what the how this actually worked. That's fine. And then there are the new things. How we fabricate claims, for instance.
Oh, I, again, I'm going to be so over my head at this point. It's just kind of a, it'll be kind of funny. Now, the real question is, should I try to vassalize Diviet and annex them that way? I'd recommend that because of the... Well, you'd still pay the increased diplomatic cost, wouldn't you? You had the point in diplomacy points instead of administrative points. The core, the core, the core cost would still be... Yeah, but they're also a nasty country to fight a war with. Oh, you just wanted to... I don't know. Are, are they small enough to be... Yes, they are. I just checked. Oh! Yeah, then I'd go for that instead. Yeah, they don't. They don't have the. Uh, they don't have the minus one thousand modifier for being too big. They're close to it, but actually, early in the game, kind of keeping my big neighbors quiet is a good is a good thing. I like how I can add ships directly to the fleet now. You build new ships. Nice, isn't it? It is nice. Okay, I think I'm ready to get started here. We've just been looking at the menu for a few minutes, so... Just let me know. Yeah, I can, I, we can start it. Okay. At our, our normal blistering speed of, of go. Boy, I, f I feel better for not actually trying to build any of those forts. I was trying to build them before I, the bureaucrat faction took over because the game was paused. <laughs> and that would have cost 10% more for each one. So, that would have been an oopsie. I think being who I am, I need more troops. <laughs> well, as long as you can afford them. I have the manpower for them. For now. I've got the gold to buy them. Oh, that's where the, the state and territory button is. Or not button, but just information. There we go. <laughs> Words, language. <laughs> Been a few patches since we last played, so this is true. As the saying goes, it could be worse.
And there, doubled my army. Up to a nice, healthy 48,000. Because reasons. Yeah, yeah. You'll have India before long, I guess. Oh, yes, because I'm one, horribly aggressive, and two, have shown <laughs> a long, long history of, of waging aggressive expansionist wars in this game. Our border is probably going to be someplace around around uh, Bangladesh. Especially with you as the Ottoman. We'll see. Not feeling too safe though. Been rivaled by... Well, rivaled by the Timrids, rivaled by Austria, rivaled by Hungary. I still expect to see Turkish in invasion armies arriving on my shores via North America. You have a reputation to maintain. Yeah. I'm doomed now. With something fabricated, they claim on me. No possible way to survive that. <laughs> Give up now. Surrender. Go back to the steps. Well, I'm running a major deficit, and I... Yeah. What am I paying for here? Let's see. Oh, yeah, they call corruption system. I forgot that. Do the manpower man, um, sailor cost for ships, did that completely replace the gold cost for ships? No, 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 no. Pay the gold okay. cost and the sailor cost. I think it's a 200 sailors for a heavy ship and 50 for a yeah, light ship or something like that. Yeah, I'm seeing that. I'm just not seeing what the gold cost is. To build them? Yes. I'd be very surprised if there wasn't a gold cost for ships. I would be too, which is why I was asking. <laughs> But on the, on the interface, it wasn't showing one, so that's why I asked. Well, do you expect the interface to tell you everything? No, I expect you to tell me everything. Oh. There's the gold oh. cost. Hmm. Yeah, big ships, 50 gold. Barks, 20 gold. But yeah, they do not show it on the, uh, if you go to the production interface and open up the naval menu. All right, All right. because the game was paused, I didn't realize just how deep into the hole I was digging, my, digging myself in the, in the budget. Oops. Are you out of money? Uh, it'll, get, it'll keep going for a few, few, few more months. Or I'll, have to, I'll just have to sack an advisor, it's nothing, no biggie. So what saved Europe from the Ottoman horde? Economics. Good happen. Um, had the bureaucratic exams of fourteen forty five and gave me six bureaucrat faction influence the option I took gave me six bureaucrat faction influence plus forty um, administrative power, which I used to boost my stability. Which then opened up 
a national decision, which gives me minus one tolerance of heathens, but plus two missionary strength. Make Ming great again. Hashtag. <laughs> I like how I can actually see you already. I I can see Mecha. <laughs> I just noticed I got the information that you had taken decisions. Well, I've got a bunch of, of the Horde tribes right on my border, so that's going to influence stuff. Just try to improve relations with someone in the, in the tech groups closer to me. You can exchange maps. Oh, they brought that back? Yeah. Or a version of it anyway. You can request maps. Or steal them if you have espionage. I actually not actually tried that, but yeah. Generally I don't need the maps that badly. No. No, the map maps were a wonderful exploit for the uh, for the Atlantic nations. But really, not all that necessary for everyone else. How bad is my religious situation? Eh, it's not that bad. Better than mine, I guess. Ooh, Sarig Yogir declared war on Cam. Korchin declared war on Buryatia. So Little Tiny Country 1 declared war on Little Tiny Country 2. That's how they become big countries. Well, no, well, two Little Tiny Countries declaring war is only going to result in a slightly less Little Tiny Country. So there. I need 898 military power for Tech 4. I'm acquiring 5 a year. Oh, that's right, I don't have a focus. This is kind of cool. If you, <clears throat> if you need to fabricate the claim on a subject nation, you have to fab you have to build a spy network with a, with the overlord, and then fabricate on the subject. That's that's different. It makes sense though, because since this, this is subject na subject nation isn't isn't so a sovereign nation. No, no, actually, that's a, that's the correct way to handle it. Yeah. Now you you had commented about them s kind of splitting up the uh, Chinese cultures, and oh my God, did they split up the Chinese cultures? <laughs> I'm a what? little su I'm a little surprised looking at this that that uh, that uh, China hasn't banned the game for the implications that China at some point hasn't just been one unified monolith. Can we start off with the one Jing Huai? It's kind of at the Yangtze Delta. Hey, they actually have the Huang Ho going the right way for this time period. That's impressive. The, uh, but I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 other cultures that are accepted as members of, of China. Although I'm not going to convert one of them because I want to be able to say Wu. Oh, I double counted, so I have 14. Woo! As long as you have the union, so... Orient Horde just went to the war with Chagatai. Making a fair amount of noise on that side. Are you eating? Hmm? Oh, I think that's a cat. Ah, okay. 
Cat decided to groom himself just before the microphone. Okay, I was wondering what that was. Hmm, inward perfection or outward expansion? This thing oh. will look outwards. I was about to say that you should probably should because I don't think I'm. Go I'll be going to the Americas. Oh, with all the rules changes, I think what we used to be able to get away with is, for the most part, closed off. That wouldn't surprise me. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm going to take all of the administrative points that I got out of that and drop them back down. And now I'm plus two stability. Since as Ming stability is God, <laughs> you played Ming before in RMP games, and you probably figure out what's all the stuff that's changed. If you if you remember, yeah, <laughs> you, you you found the magic word there. If I remember, <laughs> I had trouble remembering what I did last weekend. Not because my memory is bad, just because it's just it's such a low priority item. I just don't care. Oh yeah, they add one more thing. I should probably mention that uh, on the, on the, wait, cor on the corruption system. You wait till now to tell me. Well, you Go haven't ahead. taken any text yet, I suppose. So that's this is fine. But um, if you if you get greatly unbalanced tech, like if your diplomacy diplomacy tech lags behind severely, then you get a penalty for that in increased corruption. I'm just saying that because we, we usually end up trailing in one category or, on, or another because of ideas. Yeah. You, that can't be done anymore. Not without paying a price. Yeah. So the Beijing gets its own little icon on the map, including the Forbidden City. And it actually turns to be snow covered in the winter months. That's actually kind of cool. Well, that Maybe is kind of cool. neat. I dislike how the unconditional surrender button is just below the Sue for Peace button. Not something you want to misclick. But it's funny when you do. Well, <laughs> after a fashion. Well, let's just think of it as you're recreating the Earth Mimbari War from Babylon 5. Where you're winning and surrender. <laughs> 